Hello everyone, Exedra here bringing you episode 19 of Skybeast 2, a mud pack by Valen. In the last episode, I set up this mass massive, massive attunement altar, and then I set up a couple of things. So right here is our standard starlight infuser, and I started this automation because I wanted to automate the pushing of uh, Aquamarine in here, but I... I kind of boondoggled it. So let me show you the actual way of doing that. So I'm going to come right here. And what I actually want are those activator modules. Let's make one. And well, nope. Do this six more. Perfect. So now let's do one, two, three, and four, which is perfect. And let's come back here. Oh, I'm also going to need some aquamarine. Let's grab some aquamarine right here. Okay. Well, let me show you what, like, basically hoppers don't work and sender don't work because you can't select these things. What you can do is an activator module is kind of like a hand. Okay. So you can do or activator module like this. And then in this activator module, we're going to say put to the left and right click because usually... When I want to put something here, I, I'm not going to do it now because I want to keep it. I'm going to right click. Oh, and it worked. Then I'm going to grab the second one and I'm going to say to the back and grab the next one. And I'm going to say to the right and finally going to grab the last one and say to the front. Hey, and look at that. So now this thing is basically just going to try to every couple of tick or so try to push in aquamarine to one of the those things so one of the thing we're going to also do is we're going to break this right here and do i have cables on me probably should have some cable yes i do so let's grab these and let's see if i can click that and that and go back up perfect so what i'm going to do and i have to be careful because the top part of this cannot be covered so i have to go one higher like this that should be great Ooh, wow still not getting used to that jetpack so now let me grab an exporter export bus let's do that and i'm just going to come back over here and click this and grab one aquamarine I'm going to say I want to export aquamarine and then oh and then we're going to be able to complete the connection like so and this should now always keep full of aquamarine is it not online yeah it is online and it's got 64. Uh, I also set a starlight infusion altar underground right here and this works perfectly so let's automate it okay we're going to come right here and grab a pattern. And what we want to do is a machine frame. So we're going to call this a processing pattern. Perfect. And we're going to say that a pity machine frame. So let's find a pity. Oh, I think I could. Yeah, I can just drag it like this. One pity machine frame is going to give us one machine. One machine frame like so. And we're going to come right here and put that like so. And then if I come right here and I grab a pity machine frame, I'm going to go back upstairs, put a pity machine frame in here. And then I'm going to say frame. And let's grab this one. And I'm going to say craft one of these. Oh, I didn't click start. So craft one of these start. If I go downstairs. See, it's in there. It's crafting. It's completed. Now, that's the concern that I had. Uh, this is, is this not importing? Oh, no, this is exporting. So, just going to try something that I've seen, but I'm what I'm going to try right now, I'm really not sure that works. Uh, where's my wrench? Like this, and I think that if I do this... Perfect. Like this, does it grab it? No, it doesn't grab. It. You know what? I'm just going to 
Meh. Let's go upstairs and grab an importer. That's kind of not what I wanted to do because that's going to take another. Oh, yes. Okay. So cancel you. Go back upstairs. And now let's give me an importer. Start. Grab you. And let's go back downstairs. And we're going to just put the importer right here and just end up connecting this like so. And that should grab it. So perfect. Now, if I go back upstairs and I say frame, I do this. I'm going to need another pity frame right here. Pity machine frame. And then I can just push this here and say craft another one. And then we're just going to wait. It's going to push one to the starlight infuser machine and and then it's back and it's crafted and completed. So the other thing that I did is connected this fluid. So you see now we have 11 bucket of starlight. And what I ended up doing is I know this will always need starlight. So and there's only one recipe that works here, by the way. So there's nothing else we can do in here. So we're just going to be pushing one whenever we want and pushing buckets of starlight juice whenever we need some. So that is taken care of. Let's go back upstairs. Uh, now the, the issue. Oh, I'm going to need some more stone. And I discovered something I wanted to show you. If I grab one, two, three, four, five stacks of compressed cobblestone. And I come here to the advanced melting factory. Yeah, these cook in compressed stone. So every time one of those cook, I get nine stone. That's that's a lot faster. Okay. Uh, what I want to do next is I would like to try and complete the um, astral sorcery. For that, I need to craft the mental of the star. Okay. But I already know that I'm not getting enough juice. So what I found, uh, let me get rid of this. What I found is that I need something called a OSIC resonator to find where the actual juice is. So let's just come right here and we're going to need some. Uh, no, let's just check right here. I think I have my infused wood right here. Uh, infused wood plank, I believe. So that's going to be two. What else do I need? I need two infused wood. Sorry. So let's just put that back two infused wood then two gold then we're going to need a bucket of starlight which i'm going to go grab and we're going to need two marble and one aquamarine so let's grab one aquamarine let's grab some marble right here i think i already had marble and just didn't check but well at least it's done and for the fluid the easiest way is just to come right here and click the bucket on the liquid starlight and voila if we go back upstairs i won't be able to make that right now but that's basically going to be when i've got some starlight juice i'll be able to just create that and that will let me find where the closest um good uh, placement is because this one even with four and that's a lot even with four of these um astral pillar I'm not, I'm getting not even up to here, I believe. So it's a really bad location. Uh, while we are waiting for that, let's do a little bit of blood magic because we have so much stuff to do. We need to keep doing more than one thing at a time. So first I want a magician blood orb, which is a block of gold. So let's come over here and get gold. And let's get a block of gold. We need that because that's like the next tier. <laughs> What's the status on this? Zero help. Let's take the stone out. Yeah, let's take the stone out because I'm going to need how much? I'm going to need 25. So how much do I have right now? 13,000. So I'm going to have to come back in a moment to do this because I'm going to need more mobs. So while I'm waiting for that let me show you so basically i want to craft the blood altar tier four that's going to require 28 blank rune and some bloodstone brick bloodstone brick are made from large bloodstone brick 
and that is made from a stone and a weak blood shard. But to get weak blood shard, you need saturated tau. So tau is a mystery to me. Like I had to go and do some research because I remember the old way of doing it where all you needed to do was to make a bound blade and use the bound blade to kill mobs. There is no such such thing as a bound blade and a bound 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 ritual anymore. So if I come here, can I search? No, I cannot search. Can I? Alchemy, living, sigil, functional array. Nope. Uh alchemy table. Nope. I'm not quite sure. Oh, bloodstone brick. Blossom Bricks are a decorative block and is used as a capstone for tier 4 blood altar. And then shift click for recipe. So it shows you here that you need a saturated tau and a sanguine reverter. And saturated tau is explained here. Tau oil currently has two main uses. It can extend the duration of any anointment by a factor of four. Or it can be used to craft intermediate cutting, uh, cutting fluid, which functions similar to a basic cutting fluid but lasts eight times longer and provides a 25% speed boost. However, Tau, Tau Fruits has an alternate, more challenging route of growth. If the plant matures with a mob, a cow for example, is standing atop it, it will leech health from the entity to satiate, satiate its dark hunger. In this way, Cetra to Tau can be grown. Now, this doesn't seem to... Oh, Tau Fruit. Tau Fruit can be found within simple dungeons, after which it can be farmed. Being a nat native denizen of the Demon Realm, its life cycle is unfortunately a tad more complex than that of the Humble Potato. The Tau Fruit will mature in one of two varieties, depending on which condition it was raised. By default, it will grow into Tau Fruit, which can be converted into Tau Oil, like this, Tau Fruit, Tau Oil, or the saturated one which means we need to go to a dungeon and that was the research i had to do in the rituals right here okay there is a ritual new nope. where is the list of ritual list of ritual there is a ritual called <clears throat> uh, boop, 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 boop. Where, uh, no the ritual of Edge of the Hidden Realm. Edge of the Hidden Realm. Summon an inversion pillar, a tenuous, tenuous gateway to the Demon Realm. We're going to need a Ritual Diviner and 36 rune. Well, not really, because we're going to need... Well, let me show you the rune. We're going to need 30, 36 of these runes right here. Okay, And they're crafted four at a time. So for 36 Ritual Stone, I'm going to need 36 Reinforced Slate. And I also need a Master Ritual Stone, which requires four more. So I'm basically going to need 40 of those. Do I have 40 Slate? 40 Slates. You know what? Let's just... Oh, it's night, so it's time to go back to Astral Sorcery. But let's just see if we get our 25 more. 26. Perfect. So let's put that in there. And let's look at this. Reinforce late. Oh, yes, we have 64. So that will not be a problem. So we'll let that transform. And while we're waiting for that to transform, we're, of course, going to go and take care of the astral thingamabobby. So let's just come back right here. Grab our resonating wand. And whack this. And voila. Okay. So Fosic Resonator. Oh, look at this. Do you see this bluish particle? And how purplish it is and bluish it is here would be a good place to set up my altar but this is in the middle of my base i don't want to do that so if you go around searching like this uh you'll be able to find some right like right now hmm not finding another location oh there seems to be some purplish haze right here but you know what let's try over here but as you can see, I'm not clearly seeing it because we're not standing in it. Okay, so let's just go a bit out. And it only appears when 
Oh yeah, we seem to be deep in it now. So let's just do this. I'm not holding the full sick resonator, so I'm not seeing it, but let's just try this platform. If I do this, oh yes. Okay, so right here, we're deep in it. As we go in here, it gets lighter, but look at that over there. So during, uh, I was going to say during the day, but just, oh, I need to quickly prep something. Let me just grab a wand, infinity wand right here. And let me grab these cobblestone prism. And where's my this? Where's my this? That, that's the this that that I want to this. So let's just grab that and do big tile. And basically, I want to make sure that I'm maximizing the space where I'm going to put the altar. Because what I'm basically going to want to do is try and locate the altar in the middle of this bluish purple haze. So still going down this way. Uh, let me just do that and that. Okay, so you can see that it's... I'm going to set this as the uh, upward bound this way, and let's just go down this way, see how far it's going to extend this way. Uh, it's still very, very purpley right here. Let's just go two more. Oh, okay. So you see it's a lot less here. So let's say that it actually starts ending here. Okay. Let's just go and get some more cobblestone. Oh my God. I'm going to need the wireless soon. So let's just grab two more stacks of cobblestone and grab this diamond chisel and just do this. Like I, I really need to set up the bounds because setting up the altar, I'm going to have to tear this all down, which is going to take a while. So I'm not going to do that right now, but during the day, uh, Hmm. What about, Okay, so I'm going to call this the edge on this side. Let's go on the other side. Oh, this is deep purple. Okay, perfect. So as long as my altar starts around here, like this center location is all oh, so epic. You know what? It is worth uh, spending just a bit more time on setting this up properly because it's going to be amazingly good i believe so let's just do that and big tile and that and big tile let's go back oh yeah that's exactly what i didn't want i kind of forgot to light it up you know what <laughs> i kind of screwed that one up um Okay, I'm going to have to take care of that later, I guess. I just want to put some light. And get away. Okay, perfect. So let's forget about that. We'll come back later. Like this is a bit annoying because at least I know where to build it, to be honest. Okay, so while we're waiting, we're going to do something else. I want to show you these constellations. So these constellation paper, this is Visio, okay? And as you can see, if you compare um, these Amor Armora and Naivitas to uh, Visio, this one has color, these one don't. That's because I've discovered them. So Aivitas is like one, two, three, four, with two in the center and one long. So we're going to go and try to find that. So if I come here, Okay, hopefully these mobs will stay there. So if I do this and open this, I can start searching. I wanted to show you how to do this, but because of the rain, I can't. So it's going to have to wait for the next night. That is really annoying. 
uh, you're very limited as to when and how you can do things. And from what I know, there is no way of specifying. There is no way of specifying that you want to stop the rain in Astral Sorcery. I don't know of a spell or of a way of saying stop doing the rain. Okay, so since we can't do that, let's just start moving this altar. So let's just do this. Great, and then this. I kind of dislike that sound. It sounded as if it broke something, but I think we're good. Let's just take this and this. I'm out of space. So you know what? I'm just going to put these away for now and continue grabbing all of that. And I couldn't move it before doing my research. Like this is something that ideally I would have liked to do in a time lapse. But before I did my research, I did not know how to do that. Okay, so let's just do uh, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's a ten, no, probably a nine large. Okay, so it's a nine by nine, let's say. If we go right here, and that seemed like the right spot to start. If we do this, that's going to be one. And then it's going to be, come on, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's not going to be the center, though. So if I go, that's going to be one, two, three. Oh my God, this is so unreviewable. One, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. So this is the center. Just do it like that because these Sudi marble do not seem to have a line. As oh, yeah. Can you see it like right now? It's it's very, very faint. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's four, eight, seven, eight, nine. So uh is that where I want it? Yeah, so let's just put it right here. So we're gonna put the altar right here, and then we're going to use the resonating wand to hit it so that we know exactly where to build it. Great, so now let's just do that. We're gonna fill that in with the infinity wand. Okay, so those do not go there. Great, this doesn't go there. And let's just do this and then perfect. Nope, this one is not the proper one. Kind of forgot the, the surrounding is the rune marble-ish kind of thing. Oh, not this one. I think this is going to make the altar strong enough to do the next part. Okay, so let's do that. Then it's uh, these, the standard marble. So one, two, three. Okay, so these are also the uh, marble brick. Perfect. So one, two, three, one, two. And then there's the three marble in the center. Great. I love that they do this in world thing. Like, unfortunately, these blocks are not super easy to see, but at least it tells you when it's the wrong one. So that's a very good thing. And then we're going to put rune archway all around like so and then it's going to be those pillar so one two one two one two and one and two perfect now the final well not the final now it's chiseled marble as the top and it's this and this and this is where it gets annoying because I, 
you know, it's, it's kind of that weird structure that we had to make. So the easier way of making that structure, I'll show you in a moment. We'll just go like this and like this. And then this and like this. Okay, so it's going to be five, 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 five. So just to help us build, we're going to put a corner block like this. So that this way we can go one and then climb on it and go two, three. Like this. Two, three. One, two, and three. And then we can just grab the blocks that are not supposed to be there. This one, this one, these two, unfortunately, because I misplaced one and this one. And then we should be able to finish the structure. One right there. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, and voila. So we're back now. I don't know. You know what? Let's just come back over here. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab these. And I'm going to reset them. But one of the video that I was watching, it showed a way that I feel is a bit better to place it. So I'm just going to place it the, the way that I've seen in the other video. And I'm just trying to rush this a little bit because I don't want to get to night again. Uh, well, I want it to be ready for next night. So grab all of these. This and this and this. Wait, how much is in there? I'm just curious. If I come here, 40 buckets. Yeah, that's very good. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so what I was seeing, what I saw was that someone uh, was suggesting that you build them. Uh, just grab this and you know what? It's going to be easier if I grab a bit more of this. I'm going to have to eat very soon. Let me just try and rush this out. <clears throat> Wand. So if I remember correctly how they were built. No, I don't. Mm. Astral Relay. So. You know what? Let's just search. Nope, that's the wrong book. This is the right book. So astral relay like this right here. And it's OK. So these are the center. So basically people are putting it like this. And this. Like so. And then I'm going to need this and this. Great. And then they put the next one right here. You just grab this and do, I'm going to need to go like this. So now I need to do one space, center, 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 Sudi and the corners. Uh, let's just eat immediately because if night comes and I'm not healed, there might be a little uh, mob fiasco that's going to happen. Let's just do this and complete this and complete this. And then we're just going to expand one, two. Really? Give me more. Mm. Do I have more of these or I'm going to have to go? And yes, I have some more. Phew. I don't want to go back. I just right now, like I said, I want to finish my setup so that we're all good. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So I need to go one further back like so. Three and then one, two, three, four. Two D marble, this and this. And then the last one's going to be right here. If I can find my pickaxe right here and we're going to go one, two, Three, four, Sudi, the four corner. We're going to have to expand this by one, of course, and we're all good. Perfect. So let's just go around like this. And just for symmetry's sake, let's grab this. And we're going to put a torch here. Here. Grab you. And here, 
same corner right here back way right here corner right here and back way right here let's put some more just you know what like this is i just don't want to have any mob spawning i need to be working all night on my stuff so do i have more torches yeah i've got 64 so that's not going to be a problem let's just grab this and right here right here and this right here it should be plenty lighten up plenty lit up sorry and we're going to have to place these three once again we're just going to place them one here one here and one here great so now we should be able to do our mental of the star so we're going to need oh i don't have my material on me quickly so for the mental of the star we're going to need four stardust four resonating gem and four yellow stuff so four stardust four resonating gem one two three four four of the yellow stuff do i not have the yellow stuff and the armor what did i do with that Okay, so I'm missing the I'm missing the illumination powder. I'm over here. Illumination powder. Okay. Illumination. I'm pretty sure I'd made that. You know what? Too bad. Don't care. How do I make it? It's uh one aquamarine and four glowstone. One, two, three, four. Then do we have leather? Leather, sorry. <clears throat> How do I make the leather with prepared flesh? So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. Let's just cook all of that. And then I should be able to make the leather armor like so. And what was it else that I needed? I needed a, I needed a ender pearl feather and another stardust. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to miss a, I'm missing a really, I think, because, okay. So just so you understand, these things are in the crafting grid. These things outside, they need to go in the relay. So I need another stardust and I need a rock crystal. So another stardust, which I do not have. That should be fairly easy. And I'm going to need a rock crystal, which is also easy. Uh, I'm going to need a feather. Do I not have a feather here? Nope. So feather right here what else do i need ender pearl feather stardust and star metal ingot so the star metal ingot i'm going to throw on the ground i'm going to grab my cutting tool right here perfect and i'm going to get another star metal okay so let's go and try this so if i come here oh this is not a lot more this is annoying I thought for sure we would have so much. This would no longer be a problem. Okay, so I might be in a bit of a pickle. So let me just check quickly. Uh, first off, let's do this and these four. And whack that. Then do we have another relay? I need another relay. So let me just check in here. Uh, relay 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 no so i'm gonna have to make another relay uh these astral relay are two plank one marble two gold nugget plank nope two plank some gold nugget nugget right here one two so let's go back uh, and one marble 
Okay, so let's go back because I needed four and right now I only have three. So if I come here and I say make an astral relay like so, like that. Great. So now I should have, I'm going to put it right here. Now should be able to click that in. So let's click that in. Perfect. And now let's prepare. We're going to need one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you. And let's get this started. So you whack it and the process is going to start. And on the astral relays, it's going to show you what to put when the time comes. So right here, once the star metal ingot, then it's going to ask for this, then the feather, I guess, right here. And finally the ender pearl. And that should let the whole process complete. Look at this. At least we're getting enough energy, but I thought that the bar was going to be completely full. And voila. We've, we've got our mantle of the star and the quest line completed so since we're here and uh, nothing 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 uh, armora let's just see if we can complete these uh these constellation okay so this one is what this one is the i vita so one two three four five six and a seven right here so i'm searching for big glowing that's not i don't see the shape in here. I don't see the shape here either. Nope. Okay. Do you see these big, big ones? So one, two, three, four, five. So there is something here. So no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Yeah, so you shift and click and drag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and voila, we've got Ivorzio, and it's now colored. Now, Amara is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's kind of a roundish kind of thing. I'm searching for really big star. Like there's no big star. It's all like medium ones. Oh, big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could it be that one? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. It's not a none of those. So let me check. Is there another paper around here that had something? Yeah, Decidia. So maybe it's a decidia. Oh, see, one, two, three, four, kind of in a line and two outside. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's not enough night when you can no longer shift click it means there's not enough light but one two three four and then like this and then like this yeah that's where it would be if let me try one more time what if i do this no so i'm gonna have to do this another time so let's put that aside uh i don't know that i really need to do that though because I'm kind of uh, done with the quest line. So if I was going to complete that, it would be more for fun of completion and actually doing it. And once you get all of the major constellation, that's when you unlock the minor constellation. So let's come back over here and continue with blood magic. Grab this. And let's put it in. And we're going to have to start filling it with um with uh blood with some blood because right now we have four thousand and if you remember if we go back to the book this ritual is going to cost eighty thousand just to start so we're going to have to come and kill some mobs here and just let that go into our um storage like do you see how it says current essence like you can see that 
in the altar, there's zero, but you can see that there's 30,000, 13,000 in our current essence uh, blood orb thing. Just do that and get rid of those, get rid of those and those. And let's get rid of the looking glass for now. Okay, so let's go and continue working on the um, next step. So next step is going to be uh, to make the runes. So uh, let's just remove things that I've done. So this is done. This oh, this is done, done, done. Okay, so now we want to make some ritual stones. So if I do this and I use one of my stone, this one right here, I'll use the apprentice blood orb. Put that right here. I'll go four. Just do this. I'm going to go up to 40, like so. And then I'm going to say, oh, let's just grab that back. And then I'm going to say these into a master ritual stone. Oh, -ho, what do I need? Master ritual stone needs the magician or master. Master is tier four. So I need my magician. I cannot use my apprentice. So let's just go back down here. And let's just get those mob. And let's just wait for this to go into my orb. Let's grab my orb and I'm just going to come back here and craft this. Perfect. So now that we have those two things done, uh, we are going to need an inscription tool earth, which is made from an obsidian. This is made from a lapis blaui. This is made from a magma cream. And this is made from a gas tier, which is made from an ender pearl. So ender pearl. Let's grab an ender pearl. Then let's grab an obsidian. Obsidian right here. Now let's grab a lapis block. This. Huh. I've never processed lapis honeycomb. I'm going to have to start that at some point. What's the next thing? We also need a magma. No, so um, blaze powder, like so. And then we need a hmm, slime. So perfect. So we should be able to go and do. Oh, first I need to transform this. Let's push this under. Voila. So let's go back here. Transform this one. Oh, and I'm hurt again, so let's just eat. You know what? I'm going to take care of this also. If you give me a moment, I'll just take care of it in a moment. So that is one, and let's start the next one. And the next one. Come on, and the last one. This thing just fell to its death. Perfect. So now that I have these four things done, I'm going to put back my magician orb so that it can absorb all of the LP that it needs. Okay, let's come back over here. So now that this is done, we let's remove these inscription tool. We're going to craft the ritual diviner. And with the ritual diviner, if you shift and you right click in the air, serenade of the nether, ritual of full spring, Crash of the Timberman, Ritual of the Green Grove, Ritual of I Jump, Domain of the Filler, Call, Ritual, Satiate, Edge of the Hidden Realm. So that's the one that we want. So we're going to come right here and I'm going to put that right in the center. And now, see, it shows you what to put where. But since I have the 36 block on me, I can just shift right click like this. And it's going to place all the block. And this is now done. Now, the thing is, we need something. So if I go back right here, it says all of this, and we need a weak activation crystal. So let's go and make a weak activation crystal. We also need 80,000 LP. So that's a different problem. Weak activation crystal right here. We're going to need a lava crystal. We're going to need some bucket. One, two, three, and let's grab three buckets of lava. Oh, I don't have, I don't have, can I, 
Not a problem. One, two, three. Let's go back upstairs. And right now, I also need my activation orb. So let's come right here and do this. And grab you. We'll bring you right back in a moment. So if I come and do this with, oh, with the three lava, lava, urgh, click, 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 lava, lava, lava. Perfect. That's going to give us a lava crystal. I'm going to come back here. And if I put the lava crystal in here, that's going to transform in a weak activation crystal. Come on. Although I say that, but I did not check how much magic, it, how much LP it needed. I think it finished. Yes, it did finish. So we did get it. And basically now we still need, we only need to get to 80 to be able to activate. So as you can see right now, we're at 45,000. We just need to continue killing mobs that are coming down here until we get to a point where when we're at 80. Come on. There's nothing left in here. We're at 50. And let's check. So we have the Ritual Diviner. Uh, we've made the Magician Blood Orb. You know what? We're going to come back in a second for more mob to appear. And we're going to come here and continue crafting the rest. And by the rest, I mean we're going to need an alchemical reaction chamber. Oh, I need imbued slate. Imbued slate are tier three. I'm going to need to make two imbued slate. Wait, I'm going to need how many? Two imbued slate for this. And does this require? Yeah, it requires a third one. So that's good to know because now we need to make three of these, which means more blood. One, two, three. And I'm going to have to make sure that I'm uh, blocking the extraction. So let's come right here and let's do this. Let's remove this. And then we're just going to put one. Oh, I'm going to have to remove my orb first. And let's make sure that I have enough to make the next tier, which is 5,000. So until I have 5,000, there's no point putting one in there. Come on. Am I close to getting? Nope. 4,600. Well, I am getting close. I think the next mob that I kill is going to be just enough to make the first one. So, yeah, let's make the first one. And voila. Well, that's one, which I'm going to put here. Uh, by the way, these that I'm saving, it's to be able to say when to extract from the buffer, by the way. I just thought that this would be like the easiest way. And I didn't wait to have 5,000. I do have 5,000 already. That's going to be 6,000. This is the moment this one is done. I think it's done already. Let's grab this and put that one. Oh, that's already the imbued slate. Darn it. Reinforce slate. We're just waiting for this one. These mob drops are a bit annoying. And I need a third one. Almost done. It's done. And now we can put this back. Great. So now how much do we have? 59. Let's kill him. Let's go back here. We're going to go and craft our arc furnace. Our alchemical something, something. So oh. I do need to keep that. Though. Darn it. I feel like I'm just doing back and forth and back and forth and all so on. Okay, so this is done. Now to remove that, to make the Sanguine Reverter, 
we're going to need an iron ingot, a stone, and some shears. Um, iron. One iron ingot. One pair of shear. Shears, sorry. One stone. And what was the last thing? Oh, the slate. Yeah, and the imbued slate. Perfect. And then we're going to need our will thing. Uh, where's the last... Where's the will? I think, hopefully, I left it in here. Well, nope. Okay, so let me just search for it again. I have such a hard time finding items in this bag. I don't know why. I feel like I've gone blind now. Uh, so, will, will, will. I'm pretty sure I had made a better will thing. Oh, right here. Tartaric gem, sorry. It contains two will. That is not the one that I want. Okay, let me come back right here. Tartaric, nope. Oh, and by the way, before it's the end of night, if I come back here, okay, so let me check. One, two, three, four, kind of a square like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I took them all away. Armara. Ivitas. So these two are not done. The Sidia. This one's done. I'm going to show you in a moment what I should have done with these things. This has nothing. Perfect. Okay. So. Nope, not that one, not that one. Could it be that one? One, two, three, four. So kind of a square-ish. And then three small one at the bottom. Is there two close side by side? No, so not that one. One, two, nope, not that one. You know what? I feel like I'm missing another one again. Where's my other piece of paper? So nothing, 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 nothing. Let me just grab the book. This is just too complicated for me. Uh, if you go inside the book and you go to constellation, you can see that one, two, three, four, five. So, oh, five. And we have two completed. So let me show you something. So these two are completed. What I'm going to do is shift right click with my book. And I'm going to put these two constellation paper in there because those are done. So can it be Armora? You know what? Let's go to another one. Oh, right here. So one. Oh, okay. So this is the one that goes one to this and then this and like this and like this and like this. Yes, this is the Cydia. So I can shift right click and push the Cydia in here. Then there's a Vitas, which is three. Are there any big one here? No, and by the way, they're not always possible to see. No. No. Okay, so now I have big ones. One, two, three. There's two close. Oh, you know what? One, two, one, two. One, two. This. This. Oh, no, it's like this. I feel like I'm making a boondoggle of it. No. What? So, oh, okay. So. Like this. This, this. Right here. Down to that one. Right here. And right here. Yes, another one done. 
let's get rid of that one. So the last one that I have to find is like a triangle, and then it goes up. There's no large star right here. There's no large one right here. There's no large one right here. No large one right here. No large one right here. These are already drawn. And there's never two in the same corner of the sky. Okay, so if I look at this, I should be able to find it. I'm contemplating, like I'm looking at the screen intently to try and find. Like these are all, the smaller one are going to be the second tier or the minor one that we haven't discovered yet. We need to discover all the big one before we can get to the smaller one. all small i really do not see any big one like i said it's not every single night that has them okay so i'm just going to put that aside for now because obviously i'm not finding those right now so let's just go and continue with my crafting right here uh, where's my magician blood orb? I'm going to put it in here, and then I need the dagger of sacrifice. Great. Let me just check again. So now we're trying for the 80. We're at 70. Uh, and there's still, yeah, 72. Let's just... Just wait a little bit more. 72. 77. Hey. This is going very well. 79. 81. Oh, I can go higher. 82. You know what? Having a little bit over might not be a bad idea. So let's just do that a little bit more. Okay, so now we need the Tartaric Gem. That's the next step that we need. We need some will in the Tartaric gem because this is going to cost how much to make? This is going to cost, oh, it needs 350 will. Tartaric, so we don't have a Tartaric gem in here. And if I look in here, I do not have another Tartaric gem, but I do have a sentient sword. If I do this, and let me just check again. These are the, the big one that you get in the beginning, but that don't have a lot of uh, arteric essence. Uh, willpower, sorry. New, 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 and kill nothing. So I thought I had another tartaric gem, but apparently not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come right here. This is not producing any essence, but it's making, it's putting some work. Yeah. So this is, that's why I built this setup. Like I really recommend, this is the best way to get some mob for any of your use. As you've seen, we've been able to fill the blood altar very well. And now, that we need to uh, get some willpower, it is that easy. How much will is in here now? 26 only. Oof. Okay, so this might unfortunately be something that I'm going to have to complete in my time lapse. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a time lapse. Wait, Teddy Tartaric gem. How much can it hold? Tartaric? 250. Oh no. I need a bigger Tartaric gem. Well, that's not ideal. So, you know what I'm going to do? Let me show you. Okay. I'm going to at least increase this gem. Let me just finish 
these mobs. Like, my gem is not full right now. How much is that? Three. And to upgrade to the next level, we need a Tartaric gem that has at least 60. Very close to it. Sixty-four. Okay, so we need a Tartaric gem that has at least sixty-four, and we'll be able to make it a lesser with a diamond, lapis, and redstone. Lapis, redstone, and a diamond. Diamond right here. Okay, so let's come right over here, and we'll put this 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 and this and it's using the will power from the tartaric gem and it's going to give me a lesser tartaric gem which contains 44 will but this one can go to 256 so we're going to have to make the common so the common is going to require another imbued slate another diamond and some gold so what i'm going to do is that in my time lapse i'm just going to whack some mobs here until i can upgrade my tartaric gem once my Tartaric gem is upgraded, I will also fill it until I have enough willpower in it so that I can craft these things. And then I'm going to go on my time ops. And in the next episode, we're going to go to the hidden realm. And that's where we're going to start. Like, uh, we're going to get our towel, which means we're going to be able to get our tier four altar, which means we're going to be able to start making... Uh, we're going to move this, you know, we're going to make a whole new altar that we're going to put in another location. And we're going to set it up to prepare a tier 5 altar. Because even though it's not really used in this mod pack, the mod pack requires it. So we might as well make it. So 88, this upgrade is going to be 240. Yeah, so I have a lot of mob killing still to do. So let me just go out of here and show you that because that's kind of what we prepared in this episode. So I'm just going to go get my higher Tartaric uh, gem and get ready for the Hidden Realm. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!
Charged particle beam weapons. <laughs> 